Savior Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us begin with our call to worship. <laughs> Praise the Lord, oh my soul. Lord God. Lord, our God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor. And <coughs> May the glory of the Lord, the Lord endure forever. We will sing to the Lord all our lives. We will, we will sing, sing, sing praise to praise God. God. As, as long, long as, as we God. shall live. God, God, glory be to God. We praise you to the Lord. Amen. 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 So we continue. We're opening him this morning. <laughs> Ah, this is gonna be a morning where we just laugh. You're on. I needed some water. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those mornings where it's not gonna look smooth. It may not look smooth. It may not look pretty. But you know what? God is still good. Amen. Amen. Our opening hymn is on the way. <laughs> and it's going to be. It's not listed. <laughs> we never got an email. I don't have an email. You didn't get an email. No. What? No, it wasn't printed on the printout that's at home. Blessed Assurance. Okay, what number? 369. 369, Blessed Assurance. All right. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. 
call to worship this morning. Our, our invocation, excuse me. We're going to get through this, and God is still good. He is. Father, it is our privilege and joy to praise you. We sing. Let us make a joyful noise to you. As we sing, let us make a joyful noise to you. As we pray, make our words and thoughts a pleasing aroma to you. As we open your word, may we trust in your unfailing promises. Your words hold true. It is living and active and sharper than a two-edged sword. Open the eyes of our heart that we may see more clearly. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and God's people said, Amen. 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 Time for our celebrations and concerns. Let's start with our celebrations. Um, celebrations. Um, yes. yes, we we thank God that um, uh, we you know He pulled us through the elections. There were no um, incidents. Uh, it went on smoothly. Uh, you know, we give grace to Him. Um, you know. There are some challenges, but we still uh, counting on his on his love to uh, bring us together, uh, you know, to face reality, and then uh, move on and uh, you know with our lives so that we can worship him in truth. Amen. Other celebrations among us. Celebration, baby Jojo, ten one. Daddy. Oh, oh my God! Happy birthday! for the smooth and peaceful election in America and bringing Ghana election into the hands of God too. We are going to the polls on uh, December 7th. So God should uh, let his peace and tranquility extend to Ghana, my country, in the name of Jesus. Absolutely. Absolutely. We pray for the homeland. Yeah. Let there be peace. Yeah. Let there be peace. Other celebrations, other concerns. Let us bow our heads and our hearts. On this great moon, awesome God. You who have seen us through storms, trials, and troubles, we greet you in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. And we give you thanks and praise because you have been there for us. You have protected us. You have helped us. But more importantly, almighty God, you love us. And so God, for the concerns unspoken, the ones we didn't even know to ask you for. 
We bring them to you. We lay them at your feet. Lord God, just make a way. Just be our deliverer, our comforter, our strengthener, our strengthener, our way maker. And we, your people, give you thanks, give you praise, give you honor, give you glory. We know you are an awesome God and you can do anything. To you be the glory this morning. Come. Come, King Jesus. Come and be among your people. Not those, just those within the sound of my voice, but every single one of your children everywhere who at some point on this day are going to call on your name. You can do it. We look forward to you moving by your spirit. And we give you glory and honor and praise. <clears throat> In Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the sons and the daughters of God said, Amen, amen. and Amen. Musical selection. A selection? Yes, please. <laughs> Uh, the gospel. Hold, hold, hold on, please. First Corinthians, what? It's, no, First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, chapter oh. five, verse fourteen through twenty-eight. Okay. All right, brother Kenny. Okay. Um, the gospel reading is taken from John chapter seventeen, verse thirteen to twenty-one. John seventeen, verse. 13 to 21, and I read, I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I'm still in the world. I say them so that those you, those you gave me can have the same joy that I have. I have given them your word. The world has hated them. That's because they are not part of the world any more than I am. I do not pray that you will take them out of the world. I pray that you will keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to it. Use the truth to make them holy. Your word is truth. You sent me into the world in the same way I have sent them into the world. I make myself holy for them so that they too can be made holy by the truth. I ask, verse 20, I do not pray only for them, 
I pray for everyone who will believe in me because of, of their message. Father, I pray they will be one, just as you are in me and I am in you. I want them also to be in us. Then the world will believe that you have sent me. Amen. 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 Can you read First Thessalonians chapter 5, please? <clears throat> the second re reading is taken from First Thessalonians chapter 5. I read from verse 14 to 28. Let's hear the word of God. And we urge you, brothers, warn those who are idle, encourage the timid, help the weak, be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always try to be kind to each other and to everyone else. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not put out the Spirit's fire. Do not treat prophecies with contempt. Test everything. Hold on to the good. Avoid every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, Sanctify you through the through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers, pray for us. Greet all the brothers with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Amen. All right, beloved, I'm going to have to be honest with you. Um, what I planned for this morning is completely different than what's going to happen with all that we have faced as a nation, as a world, me and my imagination thought about a time, what if the God of our salvation sent us a love letter? What if the God of our salvation looking down and seeing us in all of our stress and all of our issues and all of our challenges and just said, you know what? Let me talk to my kids. So if you will indulge me and my, my vivid imagination, consider with me for a few moments, love letter to a frazzled church. <clears throat> to my beloved creation to my cherished ones and to the ones who still have questions about whether I am real or not. Greetings, my beloved. I want you to know something that I never doubted when I hear your prayers. I hear the period, I hear the prayers that are filled with hope. I hear the prayers that are filled with grief. I hear the prayers that are full of praise. I feel the filled prayers. Believe me, my darling, I hear them all. I hear those who are asking me to help with, with things that they cannot deal with. I hear the prayers of those asking me to make a way because the world has told you there is no way. I even hear the prayers asking for the healing of people's hearts and minds and bodies. I hear the prayers for those who are praying, who have prayed 
for this election in the country called the United States. I hear the prayers of both sides. I hear the fancy prayers with the big words. I hear the simple one word prayers that can be as just like this. Help, God, help. So this letter comes to let you know that no matter the prayer, I have heard it. I hear the prayers that have been repeated over and over from the children and from those who do not know that I love them. I hear the prayers of those who are concerned constantly making poor churches choices and even the prayers who don't know what to choose or what to do. For every member of my creation, especially those who call me Lord, I want you to know you are not ignored. You are not forgotten. I want you to know that I will never, ever leave you. I love you as much as the day I formed you from the clay. I loved you when humanity made the choice to crucify my son. But I proved that my son rose from the dead, winning the biggest fight that you as a human being will ever have to fight. I gave you my son Jesus, and he won this fight. Because I love you. So there are times and circumstances that are unsettled, and some are making poor choices. Some are making selfish choices. Some are choosing places and things and even other persons to worship more than worshiping me. Some have settled for security more than reaching in faith. No matter what, I still love you. But to my faithful ones who are feeling insecure, unsafe, and uncertain, I have heard your cries for justice. I have seen your resolve to live for me even when it puts you at odds with those around you. I want you to be encouraged. I see your resolve to live your life for me even when it puts you at odds around you. Stay encouraged. You can give me your fears. You can let me bottle those silent tears and place them on the shelf like I promised in the Psalms. You can let go of the thought that no one knows anything but me. I know. I encourage you, look for signs of my love, especially in the fearsome times. I always have taken care of my beloved, you do not have to be anxious. You do not have to be scared for my beloved ones. I know that this has been a trying time for you. I just wanted to remind you of some eternal truths that don't change. Even though in the world around you is shifting and changing minute by minute by minute, First things first. And hold this truth when everything else is unsettled. I, your Savior. I, your Redeemer. I, your Creator. I, your Comforter. I love you. I love you completely. I will love you forever. I will love you regardless of the circumstances and of the dis disturbances, of the blessings, I love you. Know the time will shift. But my promises remain true. You are under my protection. So where you go and what you see and how you live it is under my care. There is no place you can go where I am not with you. For I live 
within you. You have my loving protection no matter what. You will see my grace in unexpected places and unexpected moments. And just when you need me the most, I will be there. Our connection. I mean it. I will be with you to the ends of the earth. I want you to take courage. Do everything you have to to keep the faith connection between us alive and vibrant. That's your lifeline. I understand that some of some people will say that these ideals are too lofty and too unattainable, especially when all you do is keep your eyes on the world around you. I understand that doubt, doubt creeps in like a slithering snake to bite you and do you harm. But I am your God. I am the creator. I am God the redeemer and I am God the Holy Spirit. And I promised I would not leave you or I would not forsake you. So look for me. Look for me in this world around you. Stay in contact with me. Look for me in the eyes of in, in the eyes, in the face of the people that you worship with. Look for me in the loud voices that seem to be hiding my grace with your fear. And even in the midst of the unkindness and cruelty, I am with you. And I will let nothing or anyone do you harm in any way. So my beloved, stay strong because you are stronger than you realize. You have a strength that comes from my joy that no one can take away from you. You have the comfort of my love and my strength when everything else is not comfortable and nothing feels safe. Until you come to be with me, you live on the planet Earth. You will see what arrogance and presumption and pride will do. And it will try to do its best to drown out your hope, your love, and your faith. But look for grace. Because my grace supersedes arrogance. My grace supersedes the evil that you will see people do to each other. My grace will supersede the presumption that they know better than I do. You will have to live on this world. You have a mission to carry out. You have to tell others about me, but don't be afraid. You overcome all of this by your testimony and your witness. I always make good on my promises. I am making good on promises your grandparents prayed for you before we knew you would reach this earth. Please know, I got this current situation. Most importantly, I have you in the palm of my hand. You are my absolute delight and my complete love. I would ask you to be kind to each other because when you are kind to each other, you are being kind to me. And that, beloved children, is what this is all about. Never forget that I am a prayer away. When you need me, call me. I'm here. I'm listening. And by the way, I've already determined how the situation is going to be resolved. Just trust that it will be for your good. I'm always looking to show you my good, show you good. I'm always looking to show you places where I love you where you can see me moving because I love you. And with all that I love that I have, I will sh make sure that you fully receive, make sure that you grasp. And so I want you to be blessed, my darlings. Sincerely. From he who was, who is, and is to come. Jesus, 
the Christ, the Son of the living God, he who loves you, he who has always loved you, he who loves you even to this day, and he who will always love you. God's people said, Amen. moment of the invitational hymn. And I ask you again, as I have asked you since I have been with you, how stands things between you and the Lord Jesus Christ? Give us to be truthful, knowing where you stand with him is how you will be able to stand in these days. So I invite you to ask him, God, are things okay with us? And have the courage and the strength to hear his answer. If you find that you want more, that you want to learn more about this unending, unchanging, love. All you have to do is ask. And we will ask as we sing hymn number 368, My Hope is Built. 368. 368. A musician is coming.
every little bit counts. And even on those days when you don't have as much as you'd like to have, God can take a little bit and turn it into more than enough. So as we prepare to receive our tithing, our tithe and our offerings, let's remember we have a generous God. We have a good God. And our offering is just our moment to say, God, you're amazing. So let's receive our tithes and offerings. If you know the link that is on our website, you are able to do that, do it, um, bring your offering that way. It is much appreciated, but please remember, in these trying times, we need everyone's help, the best help we can possibly give. Amen. Wednesday prayer meeting. 
5 p.m. I would love to see your faces or hear your voices. See you at the Zoom prayer meeting. Amen? Amen. Thank you. The takeout meals, takeout community di dinners continue on Tuesday and Thursday. And here's the thing. If you are available between 4 and 5, 45 p.m. to assist with the meals, we need your help. There will be someone there. Jean will more than be more than happy to help you and show you what to do. Um, so please, if you are able, please come. There is a ground cleanup on Friday. I'm sorry, on Saturday, beginning at Saturday, November 21st, beginning at 9 a.m. Bring some gloves, bring some rakes, but most of all, bring your presents. Finance Community Meeting is scheduled for Thursday, uh, November 12th at 7 p.m. through Zoom. Trustees Meeting will be on November 14th at 10 a.m., also by Zoom. Are there other announcements? All right, then. Let us have our closing hymn, hymn number 464. I will trust in the Lord.
as we leave this meeting. May his love walk with you as you go to your jobs. May his grace be in your words when you speak to other people. May his power be in you as you face every challenge that comes your way. Confident that you have the victory in Jesus Christ. May you go and may you continue to grow in his grace today, tomorrow, and forever. And God's people said amen. Amen. And amen. Amen.